Hey everyone, welcome back to your next section of this Python tutorial series. We're going to dive deep into nested loops and the different things we can do with them. So I'll probably do that, finish up this series, maybe make some assembly videos, and then I'm probably gonna quit YouTube. <laughs> Guys, I'm just kidding, all right. I'm not gonna teach assembly. So let's first start with a nested for loop, which we talked about earlier, and then we'll talk about some variations in this video and then get into while loops and all kinds of other junk like that. So we'll just say for i in range, and we'll just put, let's go with four, and then we'll do a nested for, so for j in range five, print i comma j. So this is the most basic one, and pretty much this is just gonna iterate through that inner loop four times, printing zero through four. You can use i within this inner loop, and it's going to display it numerous times. If instead you just wanted to say iteration one, and then showed the output, and then iteration two, and then showed the output, what you would do is instead of printing it here, you would actually print it outside of the inner loop, something like this. Print, and we'll say it, if I can spell, goodly or speak English. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna say stir, pass in I, and then a colon. So here's what it's gonna look like now. We run it, it says iteration three, and it does the output, and we can actually get rid of I here if we want. Change the end, so we'll say end is just a space. And then back up to the previous indent, and we will print a new line here. So we'll just keep it empty like so. And let's run this, and here's what we get. Iteration zero, we get zero through four. Iteration one, zero through four. Iteration two, zero through four. Iteration three, zero through four. Now, if you wanted to start with iteration one, which would make sense, you could go in here and say i plus one. So the very first iteration, we get this, and it goes up to iteration four. We can do all kinds of variations. So for example, we could use i inside of some expression inside of the nested loop. So what if we wanted to count by a certain number? I'll show you how to do that. So instead of saying iteration here, we're gonna say counting by, like so, and then I will just do comma i, and instead of printing j here, what I wanna do is I actually wanna print j multiplied by i. So running this, here's what we get. Count by zero, we get zero every single time. Counting by one, we get zero, one, two, three, four. Counting by two, we get zero, two, four, six, eight. Counting by three, we get zero, three, six, nine, twelve. So we're basically using the outer loop in an expression on the inside loop. So that is another variation of this for loop and you can do all kinds of crazy things. Next up, I wanna talk about using that outer iteration variable i inside of the range for the inner loop. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you then.